Today, we're learning more about a trucking company whose driver is believed to be at fault for a deadly chain reaction crash on I-70. Two News reporter Judith Ratana is digging deeper into the company's violations history. Well, the company who employed that driver is Gray Transportation out of Iowa. We checked their state records and found that they do have some history of unsafe driving practices. Ohio Highway Patrol says they believe the driver of a truck is at fault for a Wednesday evening triple fatal crash. OSP says they don't anticipate any citations for the company at this time. We don't see uh, through our investigation up to this point that there was any mechanical issues, any overloaded issues, anything like that that would have caused him not to be able to stop. We checked to see if that had been an issue in the past for the company. Records show Gray Transportation has 123 trucks that have been involved in 11 crashes in the last two years. State records also show in the last two years, they've had 72 unsafe driving violations. Most are for speeding. Others include having an unauthorized passenger and using a cell phone while driving. There are two violations for following too close. That's suspected as the cause in this fatal crash. Unintention to what's going on in front of him and, and for just uh, following too close with a short clear distance and not allowing himself enough time to slow with the traffic ahead. In a statement, the company's attorney only responds with the matter is being investigated by law enforcement. That investigation will be crucial if the family of the victims choose to take action. Certainly there's legal obligations uh, civilly and stuff like that that we need to make sure we do our investigation properly. Now we did ask OSP about the use of seatbelts in this crash. He tells us that the seatbelts in the SUV that ejected the uh, Sherwood Deckers were uh, secured, but it's not clear why they were still ejected. He says they don't know yet if they were sitting on those seatbelts or if the force of the impact uh, forced them out of their seatbelts. For now, reporting live in Clayton, Judith Hatana, 5 on 2.